How did I go from nothing to actually creating quite a solid income without having to go and find a job? This is not a long-term technique, but it can 100% work for you. And no, this is not doing things on Fiverr or you know filling out surveys or anything like that. This is a legitimate way and I wanna tell you all about it. This is part two of my previous eBay dropshipping video. In this video, I want to tell you exactly what I did with eBay and with Shopify and with dropshipping. And I wanna give you the exact steps so you can go and do the same thing if you're looking to make a bit of extra money on the side. I wanna try and keep this nice and short, maybe around the 10 to 15 minute mark. So. I'm not gonna dwell on this, but I wanna just quickly say, if you are new here and you haven't already subscribed to my channel, you can see I'm nearly at 15,000 subscribers. Well, that's not the aim. The aim is 100,000 subscribers and you are the only way I'm going to get there. So if you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. I don't know what you're waiting for, but let's get right into the video. First, I wanna tell you the story very quickly, and then I wanna share with you exactly how you can do it. This is a really, really cool story. So it started with when I was selling print-on-demand t-shirts, right? I was doing that full-time and I wanted to try and monetize my different audiences a bit better. And this is when I started learning about dropshipping, right? I really wanted to try out dropshipping on one of my already successful niches that I was getting with print-on-demand. However, I was a bit lazy and not only that, I really didn't like the long shipping times that generally come with a print on, with a, sorry, with a dropshipping business. So I wanted to find another way. So I looked at my different numbers and I realized that bartenders was my most popular niche at the time. It was getting me the most amount of sales with my print on demand t-shirt. So I would try and monetize that audience a bit more with a different drop shipped product. Except like I said, I didn't really want to do the drop shipping, the, the normal drop shipping routine with the, you know, finding a supplier and having an item that takes three weeks to get to the customer, I didn't like that. I wanted to find an alternative way to drop ship where the customer would get the product much more instantly. This is where eBay came into the picture, right? And what I first did is I went and I browsed eBay and I started seeing different products. So I thought, okay, I could easily sell some of these products. So what I then went to do is I went to go and create a Shopify store, okay? A very simple Shopify store that I would have one product on and it would be this product that I was selling. Because at the time I was selling my t-shirts through Teespring, I wasn't selling my t-shirts through Shopify. Thinking back now in hindsight, I probably should have sold my t-shirts on Shopify so that when someone came, they could see a big you know, store with tons of different products. But whatever, what happened happened. But I created this um, this Shopify store, right? This bartender, I think I called it Bartenders Unite, something like that. I don't remember. It was a long time ago. It was a really long time ago. If you do want me, by the way, to make a video on how to create a Shopify a store or anything to do with Shopify, I don't know if you want to see Shopify content. So let me know in the comments if you want to see any Shopify content. So I started to do a bit of research on eBay looking for gimmicky bartender type products that, you know, sell on a Facebook ad. Because if you've ever seen a Facebook ad, all the products are like, they tend to be quite gimmicky. They tend to be the kind of things that you don't buy from normal high street shops. You just, you know, kind of see them on an ad and you buy it on a whim. So I knew the product had to be reasonably cheap. I knew it had to have that gimmicky factor to it. And I knew it had to be not a viral product, but a, a trendy shareable product. So I started searching eBay and I came across this product. Now, you might not know what this product even is, and I had to take a double take. But what it is, it's a bottle opener thumb ring, or like finger ring, right, depending on how fat your fingers are. But basically you just put it on your thumb and you can open a, a bottle, right? It's a really, really cool product and it ticked every single box. It was shareable, it was super gimmicky, it was ridiculously cheap. It would be perfect for a Facebook ad and it would be absolutely perfect for my bartender audience. So I went to eBay and I searched for this particular product and I found a whole bunch of sellers. Now the aim of this was to find the cheapest, cheapest possible seller and that is exactly what I did. I made sure that he had more than 10 in stock so that I knew if the ad went a bit overboard and I was getting more sales than I anticipated, I would be able to fulfill those orders. So I had to, so the few things I had to you know, tick off was, was the item cheap enough? Did he have enough in stock? And my most important thing was how is the shipping time, how long will it take, right? And with this particular product, the shipping was, I think a couple of days, like three days or something. It was first class, it was in this country. So it was nothing like drop shipping where they would get the item in two or three weeks. And I just thought that was brilliant, right? 
is tick every single box at this point. What did I do? Well, I'm going to tell you what I did and then I'm going to tell you what I would have done differently thinking back right now. So I went to Shopify, I created the product, right? I, I went over back to eBay and I found other products. I found, so I found this product, but from other sellers that had much better quality images. It's all the same product, but better quality images. I went, I put those images on my Shopify store. I then went and looked at their descriptions and I kind of used some of their descriptions, but I spiced it up a bit with my own because I feel like my conversion rates on my descriptions were a bit better and I put that onto the Shopify store and once I had all of that done I was good to go I had the product and everything now thinking back if I would be doing this now I would have bought the product on eBay and taken my own professional photos and put them on the Shopify store because I feel my own photos with models and all that kind of stuff will be 10 times better than using anyone else's pre-made photos so I decided to price this item for seven pounds now I could be a few pounds off because this was a long time ago and I, I can't find the store and it's really, really hard to remember. And eBay only shows you up to a certain point your purchase history. So I can't actually find, I can't find this anywhere. But I remember I priced it for around seven pounds, which gave me quite a hefty profit margin. Oh, and on top of that, the shipping was free. So I was making, I, I wasn't charging shipping and the person on eBay wasn't charging me shipping either. So it really was a brilliant brilliant deal after it was all up and ready the shopify store was ready to go i went over to facebook i had my facebook bartender page ready to go as well i actually had a few thousand fans at this point because i'd been selling t-shirts for so long and i decided to create an ad targeting this product particular right so it went straight to this product landing page right and i targeted just bartenders and this is exactly how i did it i went into facebook or right? i went to the facebook ads section you know and in targeting when creating an ad you can actually select the job title and i selected all bartenders right and i selected bartenders in this country because obviously i was doing this in the uk and shipping to the UK. I didn't want to have to ship to the US. And then later on, I also tried doing it with the US. So, so eBay.com and shipping to just US addresses. So that also worked really, really well. Now there were a few haters, people commenting things like, oh, this is overpriced. You can go and buy it for 20p here. You can buy it for a pound here. Don't buy this. It's overpriced, that kind of thing, right? I've got a few comments like that, but just make sure to stay on top of the comments and delete the ones that you feel are hindering your business. There are always going to be haters in every single business, no matter how good your business is, no matter how successful you are. It doesn't matter. You're going to always get haters. So just make sure to stay on top of the comments, right? Here's the fun part. As this ad was so targeted, this product was so gimmicky, it just worked in my favor so perfectly, right? It went from being a side hustle to literally a full-time gig, <laughs> fulfilling orders, and just focusing on this 24 seven. And after a couple of weeks, I decided this is not something I wanna do. I do not want to be filling, bar filling like fulfilling bartender ring orders for the rest of my life, so I stopped it. But the point is it really, really worked and it made a crap ton of money when I was doing it. So now if I was smart, I would have gone and ordered it in bulk either from that seller or from a supplier and then sent it to a third party company to ship out for me and automate the whole thing. That way I can keep the ads going, I can still get sales and someone is shipping it out for me. Yeah, my profit margin would have been a bit smaller, but I was still making easy, easy profit with it. And that's basically kind of what I do now with Amazon, right? We send our stock to Amazon and Amazon fulfill it and we just sell it. We don't have to actually do anything ourselves. So that's kind of like what I do now. And if I was clever back then, I should have done that. But I was 19 years old. I was lazy and I just, I didn't really think about, you know, fulfilling it like this. So that is the story. I hope you like that story, but now let's come up with a plan that you can implement yourself so you can start doing this successfully. Well, this is similar to print on demand. You want to start by finding yourself a niche. Once you've found a niche, you then want to go and find a product on eBay. Make sure it's cheap, make sure it's small, make sure it's gimmicky, make sure it's shareable. That's the kind of product you're looking for. Once you've done that, you can go and create a Shopify store. Nothing fancy. Don't overdo it. Just keep it really, really simple. And once you've done that, you're ready to start start ads because you found the product, you've got the audience, you've got the Shopify page set up, you're ready to start Facebook ads or Instagram ads or not even ads, but you're ready to start marketing. If you want to do free marketing just on Instagram or whatever, doesn't matter, you are ready to start your ads. Once you started running those ads, 
wait for orders to start coming in. Once orders start coming in, go and fulfill that order with the eBay seller, right? So go and buy it from the eBay seller, ship it to this new address and make sure to add a note saying don't include a receipt, right? It's absolutely fine. I know I've been getting some comments, people saying, isn't that dodgy? No, it's really not dodgy. I don't know where you're reading it's dodgy. It's not dodgy. I'm telling you it's not dodgy. And after you start seeing a product that is getting really, really good results, do what I didn't do. And that is go and order that product in bulk from a supplier or where, where, from wherever, and then either continue fulfilling it yourself, you know, so you go to the post office or send it to a third party company who will, you know, house the product for you in their warehouses and actually go and fulfill it for you. And just a little known fact, you can actually link your Shopify store with Amazon FBA. So you can send your stuff to Amazon FBA's warehouse and Amazon will fulfill your stuff for you. So that's just a pretty cool tip right there. And if you really don't care about the long shipping times, then you can just go and find a drop shipping company to to do this with and that way you can link it up it will still be automatic you don't have to go and fulfill the orders the only downside is the shipping times may take a bit longer and the item may be slightly more expensive it's really that simple right i just told you all those steps in probably just one or two minutes and if you think i didn't go into enough detail then let me know in the comments down below but there's really not that much detail to go into. It's a very, very simple idea. Now, if you want to learn more about this kind of topic, let me know in the comments down below. Don't worry, I'm not pitching a course or selling any form of course. This is just for future YouTube videos. It will always be free content on this topic. So don't worry about that. But if you do want to learn more about this kind of thing, then definitely let me know in the comments. I hope you like this, I hope it made sense. And if you did like this kind of video, go and check out part one, it's just over here. This is a bit more technical, a bit more detailed. Definitely go and check it out. I know you're gonna absolutely love it. Thank you for watching.